Hi, welcome to Google Doc series. This is part two on how to use document tab. In this video, we will explore more functionalities of document feature on Google Docs. So let's get started. The first feature that we are going to explore today is show outline functionality. But firstly, if you would like to view the additional functionalities or features that each tab has, you have to just use the tab options that will give you a quick pop-up or view of all the additional features that are available on each tab. Now, let us understand about show outline. For this, I've created already a tab that has certain information on this. There are four headings over here, which are what is Google Docs, how is Google Docs used, the benefits of Google Docs, and Google Docs versus Microsoft Word. To appropriately use the show outline feature, the first thing that I'm going to do is align these headings to what the Google Docs styles has. So I'm going to say, what is Google Docs? Copy it. And I'll say this would be heading one. And I will say this would be heading two. And I will say the benefits to be heading one. And this one to be heading two. So once I align these headings to what Google Docs has, I'm going to go ahead to this tab options and I'll say show outline. If you see here, it gives a quick pop-up of all the headings over here. But what is show outline exactly doing? What happens is when you're aligning these headings, it gives you a quick view of all the headings as hyperlinks. So when you're clicking on one of this heading, which is as a hyperlink, the page quickly moves to that information. This will be really helpful when you have a large sets of information on this Google Docs and um, you want to move instead of scrolling down to the bottom of the page, you want to move quickly to that particular information, you use this show outline. And if you'd like to hide this outline, you click back on the tab options and you say hide outline. And at the same time, you can sh click on show outline to show the information. If you'd like to remove any of the heading, from this hyperlink, then you remove it this way. This is how you can use the show outline feature or the functionality of document tab. The next functionality that we're going to talk about is the move up functionality or move down functionality. This functionality allows you to swap the positions of the document tabs. So you can move this document tab to the top by clicking on that. Or you can move it down by clicking on the move down. So you so this is how you can swap the positions of these document tabs using the move up and the move down functionalities. And the next feature that we're going to discuss is the move into functionality that allows you to make any of the tab, the child tab to another one. So for example, I'll say show outline to move into tab five, then show outline will be a child to tab five. So I'll click here and that will make it a child to tab five. Now I'll say new tab one as move into tab five, then it will become a child to tab five. So you have tab five now has two children. Now, if I would, if I want to make new tab one, a child to show outline, then I will say tab options, move into show outline. And that will nest new tab one under show outline, right? So now if you would like to move the new tab one as a single parent, you drag it and drop it at the top. And the same with the show outline. If you wanted to make it a parent, you drag it and drop it at the top, right? So these are the three features I would like to discuss in this video. I'm coming up with a third video to discuss more features. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.